System Laboratory Series. transmitter and receiver to your antenna, distribution of cable television signals, and high-speed data buses on your computers. On this laboratory, we are going to see the characteristic of signal on transmission line. So here are the things that we're going to utilize on this laboratory. We have a wheeler oscilloscope. A signal generator and also we're going to use components such as resistor and capacitor. And a specific transmission line which is a coaxial RG58 cable. of our laboratory, we need to set up or calibrate our wheeler oscilloscope and set up the signal generator. In order for you to know how to set up and calibrate a oscilloscope, please click the link below. On this experiment, we're going to verify the different signal characteristic in transmission line as open, shorted, and loaded lines. So, okay. so we're going to use at least a 1 kilohertz uh, frequency on our signal generator. So we're going to set up for a while. Okay. So this is the closest that we could use for 1 kilohertz. And then, <clears throat> on our RJ58 coaxial, we're going to connect the channel 1 on our ground and on the center conductor. So this is the ground and this is the center conductor. Okay. So this is our first channel probe. Make sure that there will be no short circuit between the ground and your center conductor. So there you go. So this is the input. So now we're going to have here, we're going to connect the second channel of our oscilloscope to your ground and to your center conductor. So, afterwards, we're going to put it here on the side. On this procedure, we're going to check what is the characteristic of your signal for an open line. So, so this is an open line, so there's no circuit connection between your uh, input and output. So here, this is the signal coming from your signal generator. So let's just check this if this is correct. I, I already checked it. Yeah. So we're going to put this one here. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to put first your ground. And then we're going to have here like this. Okay, and then set it to auto. So this is the output signal. Uh, this is the two, uh, two signals that we have on our transmission line. The blue one is the input and the yellow one is the output. As you can see, 
On the first channel, we have an input of 14.27 volts at least. So let's have here, let's stop the, you know, the, uh, the signal. So we have here an amplitude of 16.43 volts on the first channel. On the other, the second channel, you have only 17.82 17 millivolts. Why? Because there is an attenuation on your on your uh, transmission line. So that's why uh, there is a signal drop or a voltage drop on your channel 2. But as you can see, we see uh, on both on channel 1 and channel 2, we have the same frequency. So this is an output for an open line connection. So we're going to set up the uh, signal generator and the oscilloscope for our laboratory now. So first, we're going to set this up to at least a 1 kilohertz uh, frequency. Okay. So now, we're going to check this on our probe. So this is a signal for a shorted line connection. So only one signal is visible on your oscilloscope. So whatever is the input signal on your channel 1, you have the same signal on channel 2. So you only have one visible connection for short circuit line. Part of laborat our laboratory, we're going to do a loaded circuit or loaded line. So we're going to use a RC circuit, which is a resistor and a capacitor. Okay, so all you need to do is do a series of resistor. By the way, our resistor that we're going to use is a one mega ohm resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. So we're going to connect this into a series. Then, we're going to connect our RJ58 on this. So this is the input area. So we're going to just twist this one. Oh, sorry. Hurts. So, and connect this to your channel 1. At the other side, you're going to connect this. This is your ground, and this is the ground of your RJ58. connection will be on this side. Now, your signal generator will be connected to this area.
the ground and then your signal. There you go. Okay, so it's heavier, the signal. So, on the first channel, you have 22.97 volts of signal of your ano, voltage. And here, you only have 23.36 millivolts. This is with respect to your ground connection. Okay? And at least, you have the same frequency. watching this video. If you like more topics about technology, electronics, and computer, please like, share, and subscribe this channel.